you, you saw the thumbnail, you read the title, you know what you're getting yourself into. Um, so let's not waste any further details and let's explain the plan. Uh, basically, uh, I'm going to study Japanese three times a week. That's my, that's my current plan. Three times a week. Uh, one hour each day, like each time. So three hours a week I'm gonna study Japanese. Uh, and I'm also going to do a daily habit. But I don't, it's not really studying, but you'll see what, I, what I'm going to get. So we have three days, one daily habit, and four rest days. Can you tell I'm a personal trainer? So, let's get uh, into the details. Luckily for you, I have provided my, uh, my uh, whiteboard forgot the name for it and my trusty drumstick okay so basically what we have is day one media analysis this is the fulcrum of the whole plan the whole plan hinges on this day this is the most important day for me my plan with this is to be able to understand anime. I'm a huge anime fan, okay? Huge. Uh, I love it since I was a little boy. Little boy. I love it, okay? Uh, um, I truly, I truly watch it uh, every day, I think. But not, well, not every day right now, but um, I truly have a passion for anime. I, I, I love the medium. And I want to watch it without subtitles. That's my first goal with this. And that's what this whole day is about. Okay? Media analysis. You can see I have some descriptions. I have anime, songs, YouTube, etc. You could put news here, I think. Um, news. Um, poems, though that could kind of go in songs. But basically just analyze the language you want to learn analyze the media from that language let's say you want to watch uh, you want to learn French then go on fucking Netflix put on uh, that show uh, Lupin or uh, what's that there's a show about uh, about people that are managers or actors so for actors and shit I forgot the, the name of that but there are like French shows on Netflix. Go, go there. Put on French subtitles and analyze the shit out of it. Basically, what I do in this day, I uh, downloaded. <laughs> uh, I pirated some anime. Okay, you ha you got a pirate, I think. Um, I pirated some anime. Uh, my first anime that I'm using for this is Konosuba. Be an image on the screen, Konosuba. And what I basically did, I downloaded the anime and I downloaded Japanese subtitles. Yeah, Japanese, Japanese with the whole writing system. Yeah, I don't understand a thing right now from the writing system. I, I do not. But what I do is I basically go over every line of the episode, copy the line, okay? Copy the line and put it into Notion. That's my uh, app of choice for uh, documenting all this. Uh, I like Notion, because it's more journaly, but like you could easily use Word or, um, or Google Docs, whatever floats your boat. But what I do, and I'll, I think I'll show this in like B-roll, what I'll do is uh, I, I open Notion, I then copy the line from the anime, put it into uh, into the page. Then I go into Google Translate, and yes, Google Translate is fucking shit, but stay with me here. Uh, I, go to, I go into Google Translate, and I, uh, and I copy the Ramaji. The Ramaji is basically uh, the uh, sounding, uh, the sounding it out phonetically basically using uh, Latin letters like English letters 
um, to you to sort of show you the sounds of the words. So konnichiwa will be like K O N N I C H. You know, you get the idea. Um, so you you copy the line from the subtitle into um, in, into Notion. Then you copy it into Translate. You get the Romaji. Okay, that's where you you also practice your fucking speaking. And I try to say it as much like like the uh, like the characters in the anime. Um, so here's my notion for the first couple of minutes of of season one, episode one. Uh, this is how I like to do it. You see, we have the actual Japanese, which we will return to when when we're uh, more advanced. Then we have the Romaji. See, Hanjitsu Hatsubai no Ninki Neto Game. That's how <laughs> it's supposed to say. <laughs> Um, and then I have the English translation. As you can see, I also like to uh, color coordinate. So you see, Honjitsu is today uh, on camera. The uh, the the colors are pretty similar, but Honjitsu it's today. Hatsubai is released. Ninki is uh is popular where is it ninki is popular okay so then like i can get my head around all of the all of the fucking uh words and shit uh i think this is really good so yeah japanese romaji then english and color coordination that's how i like to do it right now and and you you kind of have to get the sense of when google is bullshitting you you can kind of get that when the the translation in english is fucking weird like i'll show you a line like like uh, a line that uh that was in uh, in the first episode of Konosuba, which is like, wow, well, it's really annoying that uh, the stores uh, have only uh, physical, uh, physical only uh, uh, limited items or something like that. And it translated it like, it's a real fucking thing for things to be physical. Do you see that it's fucking dumb? What you do, and it, it this will take some time, okay? What you do, is you try to analyze every word by itself, like truly, like just have a literal translation. Not, not, not try to make sense, uh, not try to make a sensical uh, statement in English, but have a, a direct translation of each word, okay? And try to understand how a Japanese person thinks. Because how I want to think of this, I want to achieve real fluency, right? So I want to think like a Japanese person does when he's thinking of Japanese. Because in my mind, I don't want to translate all the time. I want to know what words mean. And I want to know what they mean in different contexts. So sometimes when a word is, uh, when I'm curious about a word, uh, uh, about a word then I'll, I'll go check it. Like I'll, I'll search it. Uh, in Google, see what comes up. Maybe search even the Romaji so I can see like people talking about it on Reddit or something like that. And and I try to analyze the entire uh, the entire sentence, know every word from head to toe, and configure like my own translation of. Um, of the sentence but try to really understand because because sometimes things are different like there won't be a direct translation in English you know so you don't want to just have an okay translation so you kind of understand the gist of what the character is saying no I want to use this as a deep dive to understand even the culture better I want to understand 
Well, I want to understand the culture of the, of, of the Japanese people more. So that's what I try to do. And it, it takes me a while, okay? Uh, I started this like a month ago. I did have a break because I went abroad. But I'm only like three minutes in. Uh, <laughs> that's painfully slow. And that's probably on me more than on the system itself because I think it works and I'm just like slow as hell. Um, and I, I believe, like in my mind, it, it's, it sounds the most like reasonable thing to do. Like I want to have the ability to watch anime without subtitles. So I fucking analyze anime so I can watch it without subtitles. The point of this is to, to get to the point where I have literally the entire fucking season, it's 12 episodes, have the entire fucking season written fucking down in Notion, I want it written completely, okay? Written down, translated, and I understand every single word, and I can watch it. And I want to get to the point where I can watch it without but flinch, you, you see, if I if I get to the point where I can see the entire season of Konosuba, which might actually be a difficult choice to begin with, but I, I that's what I chose. Um, if I can watch the entire 12 episodes of the first season and fucking understand everything, there's no way, there's just literally no way I do not have better Japanese by the end of it. And like really good Japanese, honestly. There is no way I, I won't have a, a lot of vocabulary by the end. Uh, uh, speaking uh, practice because I, I want to say everything else, everything the characters are saying. I think this encapsulates my system for learning Japanese. Um, and you know, after Konosuba, maybe I'll, I'll try and learn some songs that I like. Because I listen to those a lot. Songs that I like. Maybe down the road, after my, my writing abilities have scaled up, then I'll, I'll analyze manga. Okay, but analyze media, analyze things that people watch, have more input. You could watch videos from, uh, from a channel called What I've Learned. He has a lot of videos on the topic, not a lot, but three or four. But uh, I'll link them down in the description. And... There is a, he, he recently interviewed a guy, I, I can't remember his name, but his whole shtick was he learned he learned through anime. Basically sort of what I'm telling here, but that's not completely like I, I did have I did sort of think of this by myself, but it doesn't really matter. So that's the first day. The first and most important day 